Hello everyone, this is Taria from Hidden Truth Tarot, and this is going to be for the Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign of Cancer. Cancer, this is your monthly general reading for April 2020. Keep in mind this is an intuitive reading. Also keep in mind I have grandchildren downstairs, so you're going to probably be hearing them in the background when they get to play in and they're perfectly fine. Now, I'm using the Major Arcana of the Grand Lux Tarot to pull a major, a major, a major, <laughs> a major theme for you for April 2020. I'm also using the Eternal Crystal Oracle along with the Mystical Wisdom Oracle. And I am using the Radiant Wise Spirit Tarot for your monthly general messages. All right, Cancer. Thank you, Spirits. All right, we have the Fool coming up here. Some of you are fixing to take a leap of faith and start a new beginning in some area of your life. Thank you, spirits. What messages do you have for Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising for April 2020? Thank you, spirit. Ooh, we have the Bloodstone. This is associated with the root chakra heart chakra and sacral chakra and it says detoxifying all right powerful energy right there thank you spirits all right spirit cancer sun moon and rising oh we are ready Ooh, we have dragonfly live life to the fullest all right. Thank you, Spirit. All right, Cancer. Sun, Moon, and Rising Spirit. What does Cancer need to know? April 2020. Thank you, Spirit. All right. Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising Spirit. What does Cancer need to know? April 2020. We are ready. Situation. We have the Three of Cups. In your foundation, we have the Ace of Pentacles. Nice. This new beginning right here could have to do with your finances because this is a new beginning as well. So you could be getting a new career, a job, a promotion. Your recent past energy, we have the Empress. Crowning you is the Moon. Your new circumstance is the Five of Wands. In the position of what you need to know, we have the King of Pentacles. In your environment, we have the Page of Swords. Your advice from spirit is strength. Your outcome energy is the king of swords. All right, give me just a moment here. All right, Cancer, you are definitely taking a chance on something, on something I feel like in April 2020. You have the master number 33 coming up here, which is very powerful. I always tell you guys, go and Google the angel number meaning because it's going to bring more clarity into your situation. So you have the full as your overall energy. So this is huge, okay? This is you trusting in what it is that you're going after. You know, you're believing in it. And I definitely get this energy that this is has to do with your money, has to do with your career right here. You're taking that leap of faith. You're, you're trusting in spirit. You're understanding that you're divinely guided right here. And you're going for it. Okay? You're taking action. Now you have the bloodstone coming up here. And it says detoxifying. You know, I feel for many of you, you're purging. Okay? Uh, you're allowing a healing to take place within your heart chakra. I feel like for many of you, you're releasing, you're letting go of things that are no longer serving you. And this is what's 
bringing in that that self-confidence that passion that desire because with that root chakra coming up here i see you you know what's pushing you forward is to lay that solid unshakable foundation right here being grounded you know going after stability and security as well with passion backing it so very nice and then you have the dragonfly live life to the fullest and you guys i would google the uh the spirit meaning the spiritual meaning behind the uh dragonfly as well okay i, I feel like there's going to be uh something there for you that that some of you need it's like a little hidden treasure okay of information i feel once you go and look it up so you guys are definitely gonna have to leave me a comment okay dragonfly live life to the fullest right here and you know what's important cancer is here and right now in the present okay um i feel many of you are definitely taking time to make the most the the most of your days uh spending time with your family uh, i feel like you're enjoying it i feel like you're going with the ebb and flow right now you're aware you're awake you are uh, definitely tuned in to your higher self with spirit and your guides right here and you know it, it's just a powerful energy that I'm feeling I'm getting a time of some celebration you know cancer some of you may have children that are home from school and now you're home with them and you're getting to spend more time and it's valuable to you and I see you really enjoying this and making the most out of it now you have the three of cups coming up here as your current situation you know this i, I see you showing gratitude you know I, I like i said i'm getting gratitude energy here and i love that because when you take time out to show the gratitude for what you have and how far you've come what you've achieved what you've accomplished uh, cancer this opens you up to receive even more abundance and blessings from spirit and that's what i'm getting from this very powerful you guys have something coming in here it's an opportunity it could be a golden opportunity at that with the ace of pentacles in your foundation because this is what's moving you this is what's driving you in april 2020 this talks about a new beginning and prosperity reward for effort here as long as you nurture this seed right here cancer this can bring in long-term financial stability and security right here some of you are definitely starting a business from home if you've been thinking about it and haven't done it yet go for it okay take that leap of faith all right if this is a new job or career if it requires you to step outside of your comfort zone go for it if it's something that you want if it's something that you're passionate about you will make it you will be successful now you have the empress coming up here in your recent past you're still feeling this energy because it's showing up in your reading cancer. This talks about, you know, you've been planting a lot of seeds. You've been nurturing them. And definitely there's a harvest coming in here. And I feel like it's coming in. Okay. One of the seeds you've planted, it's right here. And it's coming in in April 2020. So what you've put out is coming back. And it's going to bring in some gain. Okay. And I do feel like it's money. All right. So that's very positive. This talks about how nurturing you are. You know, uh, this talks about what you have put out into the world is going to come back threefold. There's going to be growth and expansion. For some of you that have already started a business, get ready because the money's going to start flowing in. If this is a new job or career, you could be, you know, getting promoted, you know, or a pay raise. It's a, it's a beautiful energy. I'm seeing a baby as well. Um, I, I'm getting a grandmother energy. I'm a grandmother myself. One of you cancers out there are a new grandma. Congratulations to you. Please leave me a comment. Let me know who you are. That's coming through from my guide. All right. So we have the moon in your crowning position. This is the energy of Pisces. You know, this is something that you're thinking about. You know, I, I feel like you are in communication with your guides, your angels. You're understanding that you know you are being divinely guided right here 
uh, I feel for many of you, this new journey that you're starting, this new beginning, um, you're really listening to your inner guidance. You're paying attention to your dream signs, symbolism, and synchronicities. Some of you are dream journaling. Some of you are automatic writing, okay? Uh, some of you are using spiritual tools. You're moon gazers, or you're working with the faces of the moon. And this is where you're receiving, you know, downloads. This is where you're receiving uh, a clarity, I feel. I don't feel like there's any uncertainty here. And now, if there is uncertainty for a few of you, if you've been feeling this, if you feel stuck, you still understand that you are divinely guided right here. You know, I feel like it could be something that pops in, a little bit of doubt or fear, but as quick as it showed up, it leaves you because you are tapped and tuned into your higher self and with, with number one, which is you, Cancer. Now, your new circumstance is the Five of Wands, okay? Some of you could be going through that dark night of the soul. You could have some inner battles and inner struggles, but I see you working through them. I see you having a breakthrough here. Some of you have recently had a setback. You had a wrench thrown in your plans. But, you know, I feel like you've already picked yourself up and did a divine detour, okay? Uh, I feel like this has already happened. That's coming through very, very strongly. Now, for some of you, if a wrench does get thrown in your plans, remember, it doesn't mean that you need to stop in your tracks and, they, and don't think that you're on the wrong uh, path here because that's not what it means. Spirit says there's a divine detour. There could have been something coming up along this path that you are on that was unnecessary, something you didn't need to experience or go through, okay? And that's why this divine detour is taking place right here. There could be some disagreements or arguments for some of you uh, within the workplace, but I definitely see you uh, working it out, okay? Now we have the King of Pentacles in the position of what you need to know. This is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy, whether you're male or female. And I love this. Again, you know, this is you knowing what you want, Cancer, going after stability and security. And, you know, you went from an ace right here, what's driving you, the seed that you're nurturing, to a king right here. Spirit is telling you, you're going to take whatever this uh, Ace of Pentacles is, you're going to take it straight to the top right here. You're going to be successful, okay? Whatever this Ace of Pentacles is, your career, your job, you starting a business, you're going to be very successful, okay? You know, if this is you in a career or job, you're going to work your way up to the top. Very nice. Now, for some of you, this could be a financial backer. That could be what this Three of Cups is here. You could have a business partnership with others. This could be a father figure. I'm getting a strong male presence right here. I feel like there could be a gift coming in here from this, this uh, father figure right here. Now, this could be, um, it, it doesn't necessarily have to be a, a father. I'm just, I'm getting this male presence that's older than you. And this is somebody that, you know, is genuinely wants to help you at this time financially okay if th that message was for you you're going to know it as soon, as soon as you hear it all right cancer getting time twisted spirits coming through here you guys <laughs> i love it all right so in your environment you have the page of swords gemini libra and aquarius energy right here you know definitely getting that home business uh because this talks about gaining knowledge, research, um, seeing the bigger picture, okay, of what it is that you're going after. And this happens to be in your home. So definitely, I feel for some of you, uh, we are talking about starting maybe an online business. For some of you, this is a child, okay, it could be a teenager, it could be a grown kid as well. Uh, there could be a situation that could be what this disagreement is about right here where you need the whole story, okay? You may just be getting uh, one side, and I feel like there's, I, I feel like there's a strong need here to make sure that you have all the information about what this situation uh, involves here. 
but I do feel like it involves somebody close to you, so you are going to be like in the middle of it. Um, but I do see you finding that clarity, and uh, I, I do feel like whatever this situation is, it will be settled, okay? Definitely feel like for some of you, you're dealing with a teenager, a kid here, um, nothing bad. I just feel like it's, you know, how teenagers are, right? It's that type of energy. So, you know, some arguing or conflict. I know uh, a lot of us are on what you would call lockdown and stuff. So definitely could be stress or, or tension within the home or the family right here, okay? But I see you standing in your in your truth, Cancer, and in your power right here. I see you not backing down. You know, you're definitely getting to the heart of the matter here. You're holding that sword. And, you know, I'm just going to say it. You guys aren't putting up with any BS from anybody, right? You guys are going to have to let me know what this situation is. Very interesting. I am I'm getting a very young, immature uh person here so definitely probably talking about a teenager now your advice from spirit is strength okay and this is the energy of leo you know with this being your advice cancer spirit is telling you that you know whatever this seed is whatever you're planting here you're nurturing you know you're gonna give me just a moment Okay, my guide is telling me that you're on the right path. You know what you want. You, you have a dream. You have a vision, Cancer. You want something, whether it's a business, whether it's a career. And Spirit is saying that you have the inner strength. You have the inner knowledge here to go after that dream. It is within reach right here, Cancer. All right? Somebody needs to hear this. You need to know that you are courageous and you can do this. It's time to take action. It's time to go after it. Okay? You've got this. And you are being divinely guided here. You're not wrong. Your intuition is right. But you need to keep moving forward. All right. We have the King of Swords as your outcome energy. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Whether you're male or female. Cancer, you, you know, you guys could be dealing with a Leo or you could be dealing with an air sign, okay? Because, you know, that's coming up really, really strong in your reading. Some of you may have air in your charts as well. You know, Cancer, I see you, again, standing in your truth and in your power right here. I see you being fair. You know, I feel like, like I said at the beginning, many of you, you know, you're cleansing your area, you are purging, you're releasing, you're letting go of anything or anyone that's no longer serving you. You're doing what's right and what's just for the betterment of your situation right now. And you're being fair about it. And you know, you're speaking your truth. And sometimes the truth hurts, but it's still the truth. And I see you being very truthful and honest within a situation or just, you know, literally being honest with yourself and those that are around you. And you're standing in that truth and in that power. This could have to do with you starting this business or this new career. And, you know, you're not backing down. If you've got people around you saying, oh, you shouldn't do that. That's not a good idea. Uh, you know, I, I see you standing in this truth right here because you have the clarity you know that you are divinely guided you understand and you know in your heart cancer that this wish fulfillment this dream is within reach and i feel like you're not going to allow anybody to stomp all over your dreams or or your ideas here and that's very powerful and it's a beautiful thing sometimes we have to take a stand and i see you doing that here you know what, Cancer? You guys know I tell it like it is. You're here to live your unique destiny. Okay? Not anybody else's. Alright? And that's important. And I see you going after your heart's true desire here. And you may have people disagreeing with you along the way. And that's okay. 
We're all allowed to have our own opinion. It's okay to have our differences. But at the end of the day, you got to do what's right and what's just for you. Okay? All right, Cancer. I love each and every one of you with all of my heart. Okay? Please leave me a comment. Let me know how these energies are playing out in your situation. I send you all my love wishes and blessings. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye, Cancer.